So friends, we're here with Bill Edelman. He is the curator of the fire museum here in Memphis, Tennessee, which means that you know about fire trucks and rescue trucks and that kind of stuff. I do. I've kind of made a hobby of it for the last 50 years. That's kind of your thing. Yes. And the ambulance service was part of the fire department. Yes, it was. It, it started in 1966, and uh, by 1972, we were running paramedic units. We started out, we just had basic firefighters on the ambulances, and uh, that was when we had the old Cadillac limousine style. Mm -hmm. And we later uh, progressed to the larger, the modular type ambulances, which is what this is. Mm -hmm. And this is a Chevrolet C30, 1975 model. Right. Uh, and, and the funny thing about these uh, Chevrolets is that uh, you'll find both Chevrolet and GMC labels. Uh, of course, uh, most everyone knows that Chevrolet is a division of General Motors, so it's not uh, unusual to see General Motors and Chevy emblems both on the same piece of apparatus. I see. And uh, this truck, now there was multiple trucks like this. Yes, there were several, yeah. Uh, All same color, same everything. Exact same makeup as you see right here. Uh, just prior to this, when they got the first modular ambulances of this body style, uh, they were painted red, and um, like fire department apparatus. And in 1976, uh, the state of Tennessee passed a law that all ambulances would be white with the orange stripe. Wow. So we had, we had a few of our ambulances that were red that uh, had to be painted uh, to this style. That's something. And this actually, that's a, I would say, original orange paint. And it kind of, it pops. It actually doesn't look too bad for its age. Right. Judging, judging from, the, from the look of this paint, this is still the original paint job. Uh, there are several things on here that uh, identify it as uh, being the original Memphis Fire Department ambulance. Uh, the most noteworthy being the uh, shop F number that is uh, painted on the inside of this door here. Uh, where it says F-479. That was uh, written by hand by one of the fire department mechanics in 1975 when it was delivered brand new. That's how we do things at the fire shop. And that's how we know that this is unit F-479. That and the fact that I followed uh, after uh, the transport of Elvis. I went on the fire department about uh, three months later and uh, we always kind of knew that Unit 6 at 29 on Elvis Presley Boulevard was a unit that transported Elvis. So I kind of always followed it a little bit. And then later, uh, when they decided to put it out of service, uh, we parked it at fire station number one up at 211 Jackson Avenue next to uh, St. Joseph and St. Jude Hospitals. And we parked it in there. And uh, there were several people who knew it was the Elvis ambulance uh, and not people out in the public, but people in the fire service knew that's the Elvis unit. And so what we did was uh, to prevent the theft or removal of the unit in any way, uh, we disconnected the steering on the front end and turned both wheels inside, pointed them inward so that the unit could not be driven, mm -hmm. couldn't be moving. And that's the way we saved it from, uh, I don't know exactly what year they, they did that, but it was until 1991 is when it was sold at auction. Mm -hmm. And that explains why I had to fix the steering on this so I could bring it in here. Right. I had to actually put a steering gear in. The rag joint was missing. Uh, yeah. All of the ball joints and stuff were unhooked. So the Memphis City, what I call the Memphis City maintenance paperwork that has F-479 on it actually says Elvis unit on okay. the unit number. Yeah, there it is on the wall right there. Okay. And you see where it says F-479 on the left. On the right, it says description Elvis unit. That is from the city of Memphis, which is pretty amazing. Yeah. And it also appeared in many photographs, and the most famous is that photograph right there. Right. But you would concur that this is, in fact, the Elvis fire unit. There's, there's no doubt in my mind, uh, because I documented uh, the unit just for my own personal interest in the historical fire apparatus. I documented it myself. In 1991, when it was in May of 91, it was about to be auctioned and, and it was going to, the city was disposing of it. I went out, I double checked everything, I took pictures of the, the ambulance where it clearly showed the fire department shop number, F 479, on it. Uh, and then there were other distinguishing marks uh, on it that uh, I knew that uh, I had a picture of the Elvis unit. There's no doubt in my mind, and I've been a historian for the Memphis Fire Department since I was about, well, 18 years old for them, and 
longer for other things. But mm -hmm. yeah, this is the Elvis unit. That is incredible. And and look, I didn't know about you. Somebody sent you the video. Yeah. And you looked at the video and went, "Hey, I took a photo of that. I've, I've yeah. seen the photo." Right. And man, thank you so much for coming and looking at this. And he's given us a lot of insight about things that were were in the truck and some things that are missing and that kind of stuff. So we're going to work on maybe putting some of those things back to make it more uh, uh, accurate to, to the time period. And uh, I, I can't thank you more for coming oh, and no doing problem. that. I'm excited to be, to be able to help somebody with it. You know? this, this is incredible. And, and you know, when, and just being honest, when I got it, I've got the paperwork. I've got things that I know, you know, they say that it's Elvis Ammons. I wasn't there. Yeah. So I have to trust this stuff. But now we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the unit that Elvis was transported in yeah. August 16th, 1977. This is it. There's no doubt. This gentleman curates the local fire museum. And by the way, if you get a chance to come to the fire, I've been there. It is a beautiful, well-done place. You make sure that you do that. Y'all got a website. We do. What's it? Firemuseum.com. Firemuseum.com. We, well, we got it, that domain many years ago. It is downtown <laughs> Memphis. It is very, very well done. You're open. We're open. Okay. Yeah, so if you come to Memphis, make sure you go to the Fire Museum and make sure that you come to the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum as well. And thank you so much, Bill. This has been a big deal, thank my you. friend. And, and uh, I, I couldn't appreciate that more. No problem. And so for all of you doubters, Bill says that this is the unit. And I believe Bill. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.